you will claim that my act was murder, but that would suggest bloodthirst where there was none. I did not go forth with this action lightly, and if a way without death existed, I would have followed it. But there was no other option. This revolution is moving too quickly, and the cost is blood. Not only that of protesters, but that of men, women, and children. The Montanards will always say that peace is just over the horizon, that the deaths will end soon. You just need to get this one last person out of the way. That this person who stands directly between us and our liberty. It's nothing but poppycock. They'll keep saying that until that person is the last. Until the whole of France has been slaughtered like sheep. Until all that remains of us is a pile of bodies so high it would seem to reach beyond the moon. For it is the likes of Jean-Paul Murat who will lead France to its death. He is a delusional genius with no moral compass. And the mindset that caused the unnecessary death of Louis the Fourteenth is the same one that is controlling our country today. This mindset is only one foreseeable outcome of civil war. And so when I took the knife to his chest, as I listened to him holler and watched the blood pour out into that bathtub, when I heard him use his last breath to call out, Aidez-moi, ma chère amie, I knew that what I had done was right. I knew that he was perverting France, and that I have killed one man to save a hundred thousand.